In 1814, we took a little trip along with Colonel Jackson down the mighty Mississippi. We took a little turkey and we took a little beans and went to fight the British in the town of New Orleans. Something like that. I'm dedicating that one to Finkel. Speaking of which, I wasn't even going to mention this yet, but uh, maybe I have already. I never can remember. Um, me and Fink are going to be trying again to do a uh, live stream. The West Wing one didn't work out too well, but then he had an idea. Since uh, he and I are both, you know, renowned music experts, of trying to do like a weekly stream uh, on uh, talking about music. Not quite sure what exactly we're going to be doing yet uh, I think it maybe we'll pick so many songs a week and talk talk about them and we'll, uh, people can come in and um, like I said we we haven't talked about the specifics yet but uh, if nothing else if anybody wants to come in while we're live and be in the chat they can um, post questions and that, or, uh, I don't know, maybe we'll allow more people to come up on stage, as they say. But, uh, yeah, I'll let you know whenever we get that off the ground, and, uh, I think it might be interesting. I think, uh, you know, the West Wing idea was maybe a little too, uh, esoteric, as we say in the biz. Uh, but, uh, Everybody, everybody can uh, find interest in music. Um, while we're talking about that kind of stuff, for my family, once you know, I haven't given up on the idea of uh, the discussion group I mentioned about for doing the stuff on uh, mom. Um, hopefully get that worked out. Anyway, so what I wanted to talk about is, uh, I totally forgot. Oh, I know what it was. Honest to God, I forgot there. I didn't know what, uh, I was just sitting here trying to think of, uh, old stories. And I remember a road trip from college. And... You know, I, as as I talk, we'll see if it ends up being interesting or not. What it was, uh, two friends of mine in college were pledging a fraternity. What were they pledging? I think they were pledging the Crows. Um, and uh, the Crows were Alpha, Chi, Rho. Um, the fraternities and sororities in college all go by Greek letters. Not sure why, I guess somebody a couple hundred years ago decided. And anyway, and they, uh, as part of their, to make it through the pledge process, they were assigned a road trip where they had to go all over the state visiting other colleges and visiting the crow houses at those colleges. Trouble is, neither one of them had a car. And they asked uh, if they could borrow my car. And so, of course, being the generous guy I am, I said, oh, no way. Um, but I decided if they bought the gas, we could all go in my car. Um, and I remember uh, the uh, their fraternity told them to keep a log, and they, since they figured they'd be hitchhiking, they had to write down uh, like who 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 picked them up and where they dropped them off, and then. 
the next car and you know keep a whole log of what they traveled and uh, they they weren't going to admit that actually I, I gave them a ride so the, it was one of the things we did along the way is and and this is what uh, is stupid uh, but we would pick a car as we were driving and uh, I think they even they had to put like you know green Ford Galaxy and the license plate number and stuff you know and we we'd pick we'd pick out a car we saw and say it picked them up here and dropped them off there and I mean when you think about it uh, we could have just been making up cars but we actually picked cars we saw along the way and we uh, drove around I I forget exactly I, I I think we started off went from Pittsburgh and headed up uh, Interstate 79 I think we had to go up to uh, Erie and uh, we came across the state one one thing I remember though is the uh, I think it was the first night or we uh, were coming through this area of the state and so I said well I don't live too far from here so we'll go we'll go go to my house and can uh, sleep inside instead of in the car or I think that's what we must have been doing and I remember uh, showing up at home I think I think it was like 10 o'clock at night or maybe later and I just uh, remember walking in with these two guys that nobody had ever met before and it was just like oh hello <laughs> you know nobody it was like my parents didn't you know they didn't see anything strange in it at all even though as far as they knew I was in Pittsburgh in my dorm room they didn't even know I was out on this trip but I came walking in the door and it was no biggie um I'm trying to think uh well I know I forget uh, what town we were in because what would happen is we'd get to where we had to go and I'd you know drop them off and I'd go and park somewhere because uh you know, didn't want didn't want anybody to see that they got a ride. I remember we were at the one one place and I dropped them off and there was like no place to park. And I headed around. I went driving around, you know, in a circle. And I, I forget how it was like it was some kind of strange deal where it was. I had to drive a big loop or something I don't know it's you know this has been uh, like going on 50 years ago now I forget the details all I remember is we ended up getting like separated and I remember I was like driving up this highway out of town I think I was gonna go and like find another place to like turn and go searching for them or something and of course remember this is if I did something if we did something like this today It'd be easier because we'd all have cell, have cell phones. Of course, nobody would believe you hitchhiked all over the state today. I don't know if people ever pick up a hitchhiker anymore, but that's beside the point. Um, but I'm, I was driving up this highway, and here's the two guys. Oh, by the way, it was uh, I'm pretty pretty sure it was uh, the two guys were plug and spiff um might not have been spiff i know one was definitely plug but i think uh but spiff uh seemed like he had more sense than these guys i can't think of who the other guy might have been anyway i'm driving up and there they are hitching a ride now if i hadn't come across them and they had caught a ride I'd never know where they got to. It's like, I just 
can't figure out why they uh, decide to start hitchhiking. It's like, anyway, that was a little weird. And, well, something else I remember from the trip is Plug was driving for a while. Because I was tired, of course. And I remember, I think I was sleeping. And we we're getting up on the highway, you know, we're coming up the uh, ramp. And I opened my eyes. And Plug's driving, and he's looking back, you know, looking for an opening to pull out onto. The... And I look, I look ahead of us, and the car ahead of us has stopped. And Plug just not even looking and I remember uh, as I have done before there's a couple people who might watch this who will recognize this reaction I very intelligently went ah, 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 and plug looked forward and slammed on the brakes and we managed to avoid a um, accident Another incident I remember was uh, we stopped at a rest stop and I can't remember if it was Plug or the other guy. I wish I could remember the other guy's name. Um, but uh, he it got something out of the trunk or something and he had set the keys down on the spare tire and then he closed the trunk and locked the keys in there. And uh, we're there at this rest stop. Ended up calling a locksmith to come and get us in. And when the locksmith came out, he said, well, why didn't you just take out the uh, back seat? I had no idea that the back seat uh, just all you had to do was bend these little tabs open and the back seat came right off and it opened up out into the trunk. But uh, I didn't pay for the locksmith, so who cares? The guy who was stupid enough to lock the keys in there had to pay, so maybe he learned something. Uh, boy, and as I was talking, I was thinking of... Uh, Something else had happened on that trip, but I really can't remember now. And I'm kind of getting, uh, <laughs> I'm remembering a whole different road trip that I took with uh, some of my fraternity brothers. Um, but anyway, I guess that, uh, I don't know how exciting that was for you, but a little trip down memory lane for me. It's uh, just one of those things that, uh, that's like, that's college life, you know? Just does uh, stupid things like that. Um, yeah, so, uh, if me and Fink will ever get this uh, music thing together, I'll let you know. It might, uh, might be, might be interesting. Peace out, folks.